Hey guys, it is I, Wolverine Twelve Thirty One, and today this is episode number twenty-seven, I think, of Burnout Paradise Cagney Edition. Today we are going to be hunting down the freaking Carson Hot Rod Creek in this modern-day classic monster. So. Race northeast to the Coast Guard HQ. Yeah, screw off traffic car, you got in my way. How did I take you down and knock the other one? There we go, a double kill. Alright, that's another fence. Another fence. Extreme rallying U turn. Out of my way, traffic cars. My god, these AIs can't even drive. <laughs> I know. And it's loading. This rarely happens until it's like buffering or something. I can imagine if everything was just untextual. Or maybe like everything just stopped working. I think the game cannot handle my speed. Gotta be gentle on the sand. Otherwise, it'll spin out, slide, and crash. I know I win. They're sick 180. That is a great screenshot right there. It doesn't get if it didn't get blurry, <laughs> that would have been better. Okay, so anything else we need to do? There's a race up here that I could actually do. Until the hot rod camp decides to show up. And once it does show up, I'll shut him down immediately. Race southeast to the waterfront plaza. This is easy. Let's go. I really like that thing that I have. Suck AI. You'll always suck. Boom. Into the shortcut I go. No need for repairs and no need for gas.
and across the line. Twenty eight wins. <laughs> All right, um, here's a stunt run, which I think we can do. Chain your stunts together for maximum points. Get going. Forty five seconds for five hundred thousand points. Yeah, um, no, actually, yes, let's go this way first. This is where we'll find the billboard. Find these billboards in order to succeed in the stunt run. You can get some additional stunts like freaking flex pins, which I doubt that's on me, because logic, of course. The extreme echoing, Jesus Christ. Son of a biscuit. I hate these damn stunt runners. This is Crash FM and I'm DJ Atomica reporting to you live from Paradise City, where cars fly and parking garages are the runways. This is why I hate stunt runners. They give you like zero time to do stunts. And the walls, yeah, they just like to drag you down. Like, physics doesn't work. I'm gonna try that stunt one again before the hot light keeps up. Hot light keeps up. Find the stunts and rack up the multiplier to beat the target score. This time, I'll do something different. I shall turn around and just actually get to that one area. We'll do the barrel later. Swear to God, if I crash here... You moron. I held my e-brakes and nothing happened. Wow, this game. This is Crash FM and I'm DJ Atomica sharing some common sense with you. Choice of vehicle is all important in a stunt run. I'm in a bloody stunt car and this freaking stunt runs are broken. I'll try it one more time and if I can't win it, then I'll give up on it. Like seriously, physics doesn't work in this game at all. Maybe I'm not using the R Turbo. I should probably use the R Turbo for now, for these stunt runs. Because the stunt runs don't like more powerful vehicles. They only like the, uh, the much slower and innocent looking cars. Yeah. Take that tractor car. Right, this time stunts, everything will be better. Score target. Time for a stunt run. You know, I could do a McAlvin if I wanted to, but um yeah. Remember this will be the final time I get to do a stunt run. Down a flat spin there. Stay away from the walls if you want to score big. There we go. I'm gonna go 
faster with this one. Oh, that crap. Oh. Okay, that's good. One crash is all it takes to destroy your counter. I swear if you get in my way. Like 36 times 11. That will lead into 360 plus. I'm clearly drifting. No! Bullcrap game. Bullcrap. You know I'm ending off. <sighs> hey guys, we're going to talk to anyone here, and yes, we're going to do some stuff first. This is episode number 27 of Brown Paradise, and yeah, I failed completely. So let's try this stunt run again, because last time was just crap. No way the stunts are I had a little itch in my leg, Prove sorry. It. So we get those three billboards and that would be enough.
Oh, it's like literally no traffic. Or a little too much traffic, I should say. Alright, this should be enough. There we go. Thank you, finally. Alright, 27 wins. There's havoc being wreaked on our lovely streets as someone tries to shake their tail. Take Atomica's advice and find the next shortcut, hit the gas, and if all else fails, take a trip to the auto repair. I'm still going to do the Grand Paradise 1.0 episodes as well, after I'm done with this game. But when I get the gold cars, there will be, uh, what is it called, bonus episodes. I don't like the scenery. Now we're going to go back to the Camaro. This one. Uh. Excuse me. All right, now we're gonna now we're gonna go ahead and hunt down this um, hot rod coop. If we can find them right away. doesn't let you steer. Stupid traffic cars always block the way like nothing happens. Like that. And how does my car instantly wreck? It's a freaking muscle car. It's stronger than a stupid sedan. Alright, let's get to race this race. Northwest to the Crystal Summit Observatory. Observatory. Let's go. I know my way. You AIs literally suck at driving. Freaking traffic cars like to get in my way all the time. And every second they just get in my way like nothing is happening. Yes, just what I wanted. That AI is going the wrong, wrong way. I might have to like re-edit this video so I can get the, uh, the first two things in here. And then, yeah. Freaking AI, they always get in my way, no matter what I do. No matter how slow or fast, they'll get in my way. Freaking, not even this game has given me enough boost. You had nowhere else to go, truck. You had nowhere else to go. Disappointment. Take that, AI. 
a drunk little bastard. I'm just hoping the AIs aren't as aggressive as they used to be in this game. In Danger Shadow 2. And I'm just hoping like everything else will be okay instead of totally aggressive AIs that don't give a crap about anything and they always be and they're always reckless. Who, who would allow a boss on the freaking road? It's too damn chunky. We're still having a little bit of fun in this game. Which, yeah, it doesn't exist. I'm gonna go this way and find the uh, hot rod coop. Yeah, you were just in my way, traffic car. Just get yeeted off. Yeah, that was on me, actually. See, I don't see anything. No AIs around here. Showtime thing and searching for other things for um, later. Like, you know, in the bonus episodes. And yeah, if I don't sound energetic, that's because I'm very, very tired. And yeah, I'm sorry for that. Now, where is this guy? count as a crash. Oh, there he is. Come here, you. You stupid driver. Are they just acting like normal Nighthawks or something? Yeah, you were just in the way, you're just in the way, traffic car. Yes, I know you can hear the uh, Burnout 2 theme song. Where I got like zero boost and he's just running. Now you shall die. Are you not dead? Freaking AI is really stupid. God damn it. He has like the boost type of a Nighthawk or something. Or like the acceleration of a Nighthawk.
Gotcha. The Carson and Bennett Hot Rod Coupe has been delivered to your junkyard. Yep. So that took us nearly like, I don't know, 23 minutes or something. Maybe 25. Depending. After this episode, I'm going to go to the uh, iMovie app and just re-edit this. So far we got the Carson Hot Rod Coupe. One of my friend's favorite cares. Because why not? <laughs> Also, this is based on like a uh, 1932's uh, Ford. I actually have a Hot Wheels car of this thing. I guess this is why I hate traffic cars. Fixed. Okay, now where's the burning route on this map? Um, it's right here. No, that's the paint shop, right here. I'm heading in the right direction. In order to succeed in burning roots, you can't crash once. I, uh, I have a confession to make, folks. Uh, I like to loiter on the top deck of the South Bay Expressway Bridge at Rock Ridge Cliffs, and then drop off onto unsuspecting drivers to get a vertical takedown. Does that make me a bad person? No. Drive east to the Coast Guard mm. HQ. The clock is ticking. Sorry for the interruption, Mr. Atomica. I know my route. Gotta make sure these dumb traffic cars don't get in my way. And I say that as a truck gets in my way. Like, who allows traffic cars on the road while I'm in a race? Fence right there, there's a fence right there. I don't think I'll make it. I might though. Depending if I crash twice or not. I'm not sure if you can crash once or you can crash twice. Oh, with the uh, WTR burning room, you can't crash once. And you have to make it there fast. Like, no matter what happens, you have to make it there as quick as possible. So far, the uh, WTR burning room is like one of the hardest burning rooms to actually complete. The hot rod coop is actually pretty easy because. See? I did it. <laughs> Minute 30. 25 wins. And I get the other car. That burning route is in the bag. You definitely deserve the Carson and Bennett Tribal Special. It'll be waiting for you at the junkyard. Hmm. So, what car do we get in? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I would complete all the Markmans in the Hunter Cavalry if I wanted to, but I think not. However, 
I could do something in, uh, what is it called? I could drive one of these other cars that are probably much stronger, such as the Spur or the Van. Or maybe even better, the Annihilator or the GT Concept. Maybe even the NASCAR, because the NASCAR is actually stable. But the GT Concept is more stable than the NASCAR. Speaking of NASCAR, they used to have an oval track here in Paradise City, in the Coast Guard HQ, but eventually was scrapped because of, I don't know, development cycle or something. Or maybe the NASCAR track was just too much to handle this game, or whatever it is. I mean, considering the NASCAR track being so big, I would say it's like, due to the limitations of said game, the game actually has a hard time loading in when the NASCAR track exists. As for the classic muscle from Burnout 5, I have no idea why would they, I don't know why would they change the car like that. Maybe it's because they have like two Camaros or something. Survive the drive west to the wind. They didn't want two Camaros. Maybe you know that two Camaros is actually fine for me. God, you AIs never stop. They're being hostile to the humans. And these dudes are fat. Yeah, take this to civilian Boston's. going this way. My god, how fast do you go? Like 3,000? Jesus Christ, I'm being gangbanged by a bunch of Nighthawk light vehicles. They have such an easier time to catch up to me. And yeah, that traffic car was just in my way. Freaking stupid. Of course, another freaking AI. Another one. There's like way too many of them. It's like freaking in Need for Speed Most Wanted at the end of the uh, game. Not 2012, but 05. Where 20 million cops go after this one M3 GTR because he's the most wanted street racer. I mean, he had to be the most wanted street racer because freaking Razor took his car or the player's car. So then the player actually took the car back from Razor when the game was finished. Actually, funny enough, it happens in Need for Speed Heat, but not with Razor, but with another dude. Frank Mercer or something like that. Top dude. Yeah, that was on you, AI. That was definitely on you, and I see a wall clip right there. Anyways, he is. Okay, nothing. Now we're gonna save load. Load our game up. environment seems like it's gonna rain in uh, the real world not in the video game 
Mm, let's see. 4x4 four four is too big. Uh, I'm trying to find one that's sturdy and stable. I'll just go for the cavalry. Why not? I'm saving the others for bonus episodes. Hang on a sec. Forgot something. Forgot to change the color to, um, or finish to two and paint to red. No. Finish to metallic hue red. There we go. Much better. Now it's a classic muscle. traffic cars decide to pop out of nowhere. Still alive though. I'm gonna do this road rage right here because why not? Ready for some takedown action? Let's road rage. Yeah, boy. Taking this. First takedown. Oh, Jesus Christ. No car can turn like that. Seriously, no car can really turn like that. Especially if you're a heavyweight. I don't get why the X-12 exists in this race. Or not race, event. When only muscle cars and extremely strong vehicles should exist in this event. If there shouldn't be a, there shouldn't be any light vehicles. Yeah, that was on you, traffic car. Freaking traffic cars had to exist. Singular two. No one's going this way, so I'll go here too. Kill everyone! Yeah, boy. You suck, AI. Vantage. Christ, AI, you always have problems driving. Nine in a row. Let's see if we can get one more. That should have counted for me, but nope. Die already, AI. What are these AIs made out of? Titanium? Oh god, these AIs wouldn't even die at all. There we go. We gotta take him down hard. Rage. I'm missing my two front fenders. <laughs> Hopefully I can see another texture in this car. Resembling said classic muscle. Which this car is basically the classic muscle. But I doubt it. DJ Atomica here with the secret to showtime. Keep your car moving. When you're out of momentum and you're out of boost, the show's over. So you gotta use that boost carefully. Just tap the button as your car touches down to keep the bounce going. Then steer into some expensive target to rack up the dollars. Yep. I'm still 
trying to find out where the hell I can find these textures. Damn it, game. Come on, come on, come on, go. There we go. Don't mess me up again, game. Or I thought, game. to say, oh, I'm just going to keep going, make this guy lose. Now oh, that bus. Yes! I nailed it! Oh my god, that was actually perfect. Freaking absolutely perfect. What a way to end it? By this. I'm Kermit Sarissa. There we go. Nice. That was actually pretty cool. If I did one more barrel, then I would have ended it immediately. You know? But still, I am so glad I recorded that. And then afterwards, I'll have to combine the two videos into one, like the previous one that I made, not the one that's already on YT, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Alright, there should be another stunt run around here somewhere. Let's see, uh, no, there's another race right there, but we'll do that later. The stunt run here, the stunt run there. Uh, what else is there? There's another race here, Marked Man and Road Rages. I got another stunt run here too. So if I want to do something, I would have to go onto the highway. Or, I could choose that one right there. Or, freaking the stunt run right here. I think I'll go for like a Road Rage. I'm not really in the mood for stunt run because stunt run is just so damn difficult that you have to be pristine and you can't crash. 
you know? <sighs> so I'm gonna swap my vehicle to something faster. And yes, sorry if it takes like way, way too long. Wrong car. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm trying to look for a fast car. Let's see. Revenge Racer is a fast car. Hawker Solo is good for stunts. I'm trying to find a car that's good for road rage. I see the Thunder Custom. Yeah, let's just do this. the car, the better your results are for road rages and mark man. But for stunt run, it's not going to make a difference because you need a stunt car for that. I'm not even sure if you could actually do stunt run successfully in an aggressive... That happened! Yeah, um, glad I got that on camera. Rolling, rolling. Alright, so let's just go through this uh, fence. We'll do that stunt run in the next episode. And when we start the next episode, or when we end the episode the here. down target is set. Let battle commence. The only time when I end an episode is when there's a new car out. Hello there, Thanos. That's not Thanos, but nice car anyways. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, I had no control over that. I think I did, but uh... The car's handling is just garbage. You tried so hard to kill me, I kill you back. Was onto the highway it is. Yes. You're not even catching up to me. How pathetic. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I think I could live longer than that. Than that. It's all the interior of the, truck, of the uh, van, not the truck. The van. Whoa, whoa, calm down, AI. Jesus Christ, AI. You don't calm down. Shunt! Shunt you hard, you're supposed to die hard. Not let all, not let some stupid traffic park get in my way. A van? No, that's a truck. Signature takedown. Pay the toll. There we go. I like signature takedowns. Yeah, that was your fault, traffic car. For getting in my way. Damage critical. I'm not even there. I'll have to get off here. Hey, 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 AI. Be peaceful, please. I'm like right there at the auto repair. Now oh, please don't kill me. Please. Yes. Nailed it. Repair successful. Yeah, take this.
Wow, a dead body got in my way. I didn't even see it. Oh, you suck, AI. Was confirmed. Yeah, I had zero control over that. This episode's going by splendidly. Like, how the hell does an AI resist my slam? They have freaking cheat codes or something? I have to really smack him in the face, like that. What the frick? Pure chassis. Holy crap, that was awesome. Already damaged critical. How lovely. But still, freaking pure chassis. I don't like that. You are now dead, chassis. No you don't, AI. No you don't. My job to take you down, not your job to take me down. How are you not dying? Take this, AI. You shall never take down the chassis. Now it's getting better. Truck with no model. I don't understand how a hawker can resist my slam. There you go. One more. Oh, ugh, stupid traffic car. My god, you AIs are literally crazy. You have to at least calm yourself down, AI. There you go. One more and that's it. Huh. That was easy. I crashed a few times, repaired, and crashed again. Everything's going well. Alright, um, let's see here. What's the next event? A stunt run I would save for later. This stunt run I will also save for later. We have this race right here so I can just go ahead and get it. Now, I thought I'd seen everything until I drove past Big Surf Beach yesterday and there were four guys parked between two split ramps while another four took turns barrel rolling over. Amazing what you can do when you're online in paradise. This is DJ Atomica for Crash FM. Yeah, in which we cannot do anymore because EA decided to unplug the servers. Or I should say, pull the plug on the servers. It sucks to see something good go away. And now we got the useless remastered version, which Criterion is not going to do anything with this game because of EA. And yes, it is always EA's fault for screwing things up. We shall do this race. Uh, to the Crystal Race Summit. northeast to the oh. country club. Country club. Not the Crystal Summit. I know my route. I got AI. You really think this is a road rage? My god, these AIs are stupid. Don't worry, I'll get a revenge takedown on them. On that Camaro. Gotta spot him first. Right there. Yes! Amazing. Plus. You. You bust. <laughs> I remember racing against buses with the bus. That was back. That was back on the old PS2 days when I had mods on the downloaded version. 
but with the disc version, I have 1.0 on it, and I'm going to keep it at 1.0 until I, you know, actually, no, I'm going to keep it on 1.0, like, really keep it on 1.0. Traffic car. Yes. Yeah. You know, that was good. And it's already almost an hour as well. Got kind of 20 wins left. Wondering, we are going to do the burning route of the Formula One last, and then we'll get our gold cars, and that'll be the beginning of bonus episodes. You know, race one on one south to the naval yard. Naval yard, that's easy if I can just freaking do these things right. I still wish I had the Burnout 5 2006 and 2007 pre-alphas. And the E3 07 build. I really, really like that build. That build was like so perfect, it would actually be the release time of the game. Like there was zero bugs with it. There's like nothing wrong. And that was, that happened. Like really. There was nothing wrong with such build like that, and you crashed AI. Like seriously, there was like nothing wrong with that build. Like everything was working perfectly fine, the supercharged boost existed, which was amazing, and I loved it. But uh, I've never been to E3, either PAX East. I mean, if I could, I would get, um, as much information as I can to make, like, an evolution video. And I'm not sure if Three Fields would approve of this. Because it would lead to, like, copyright or something. Who knows? But I'm still planning on doing such videos. Alright. I will use the Annihilator for this one. The pure black annihilator. There's a lot of background noise, I know, I'm sorry. Uh. Man over here that I can actually do. There's also a road rage in a race. So I would do marked man because those seem those seem easy. But the AIs they're just totally mental. So let's do marked man. Survive the drive northeast to the Coast Guard HQ. Close. 
pretty cool. All right, 18 wins, and yeah. Nothing else. Hmm. for another episode. Maybe like the final episode. Race west to the wind farm. Wind farm, that's totally easy. If I don't go the wrong way. God damn it. Yeah, that was the traffic cars doing. Take that fence. Take that fence. Out of my way, more on traffic cars. That came out of nowhere. My freaking tire came out of nowhere. I think that was. Okay, so I can't go that way because it'll take a while. I mean, it is more accurate to actually go there more than the other path that I'm taking right now. Gotta be careful about these dumb traffic cars who like to cruise around like nothing's happening. for that. Anyways, let's get let's get on to this game again. Oh, the AIs like to play tricky, huh? What do I see about that? These craft cars can get out of my way and I can get that billboard. Everything will be better. Tokyo Drift. Nobody can catch me. Oh, I am actually very stupid right now. Just don't, don't worry about it. Full of commentary and I don't care. That's cool. Stop going in reverse car, please. That's 17 wins. Um, yeah. Nothing new. So let's see, another thing to do is, let's see, there's a stunt run here, there is everything else, stunt run, stunt run. I would say I'm, I don't know, I could probably do a stunt run, but um, yeah. Uh. Maybe I could just save load and actually get this thing done easily. Sorry about the background noise again. It's just randomness stuff going around in my house. Uh, holy Jesus, that's black. That's very, very cool. Uh, let's see. We are going to stay in the Annihilator and do some more events. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of background noise going on. I apologize for that. Freaking traffic car. Hey, the Nakamura dealership. I'm still wondering if they have that in Burnout 5. I doubt it though. I'll have to ask uh, 
Crash FM here with reports of a race occurring somewhere in Paradise City. May the fastest and most reckless driver win. Yep. I think it's like when we get to like 16 wins, we'll get the Formula 1. And once we do get the Formula 1, we'll end the episode. And then, yeah. And then maybe later on, like tomorrow or next day, depending if I have time, I'll make Stallion another Ridge. episode. And then hopefully complete the game and get gold cars. Yeah, that depends. If I'm actually capable of getting all of said cars, and yeah, that was on me. Don't worry, I'll get first. Hopefully, if these damn traffic cars can stay out of my damn way. In which they can't. Because the traffic cars are ridiculously stupid, and they don't know anything. Like literally, one hit and they turn in one direction, especially in your direction. Yeah, I I was nowhere near that. I gotta hurry. Try to beat these damn cheating AIs. If these damn traffic cars can stop getting in my way. Like, stop turning in my direction, and start turning in your direction. I probably won't make it. No, I will make it. I'm like right there anyways. Morons. If morons can't drive, then don't drive at all. This is my race. None of the AIs come out of nowhere and just try to hit my car. Keep your eyes open for the Krieger Racing WTR driving around the streets. If you see it, shut it down to add it to your car collection. There we go. So yeah, this is the end of the freaking episode 26 or 7. Probably 27. So I will see you guys in the next episode, number 28. Adios.